Now, this is coming from Gallup, who is the leader in, in measuring engagement across the world. Do me a favor, type in the chat. They have a percentage of how many employees across the world they would say are disengaged. What do you think it is? We'll do Price is Right's rules. Whoever can guess it without going over. <laughs> so Price is Right rules got 35, 70, 75, 60. Okay. All right. So far, I see somebody who's getting close. And then the number is 85%. So some of y'all got really close. And the wild thing is most people are not surprised about this. Some of y'all even estimated higher. But let's look at how that really shows up and impacts us, because I know we're talking to numbers folks here. So 85% of employees are disengaged. What's interesting is this research also showed that for every employee who's disengaged, you're losing about 34% of their salary to disengagement. So you're paying them for 100% engagement, and you're not getting that. What's interesting is for an employee who, um, who you're paying $60,000 a year, you can be losing about $20,000 to disengagement. So now we're talking about burning money, right? So to stop burning money, I'm showing you how money is being burnt in a very literal way here. So if you have 100 employees, I know some of y'all said you have more, some of you had less, you can do the math for your own uh, number of employees. But let's say for 100, just to keep numbers simple. So if you had 100 employees, it really means it, from this perspective that 85 of them are disengaged. And so from that perspective, $20,000 per employee lost per year can be $1.7 million. $144,000 a month, and then $4,000, close to $5,000 per day. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want that for you. I don't want that for your team. And some people say, okay, why don't we just fire the disengaged employees? Well, you could, but the Work Institute would say for every employee that you fire, it can cost about $20,000 to replace them. And so either way, we're still we're still here that we're losing and we're not here to blame the employee because our culture can eat employee engagement. That's what I'm saying. If we're not if we're trying to submit measure employee engagement, it's like we're putting a lot of pressure on the employee. Somebody said yesterday, it's like the metaphor of trying to hit the gas in your car and say, I want the car to go faster, but we haven't invested in a better engine or any kind of aerodynamics. We just want the car to go faster, but it wasn't built for that. But we're blaming the car, not us as the driver, or actually investing in what we could do to have a better car, a better ride, a better company, a better culture. 